On this episode of The Short Stack, we'll be talking about Spider-Man Deadpool number nine. Now, I'm going to tell you if it's any good in five minutes or less. Spider-Man Deadpool number nine by Joe Kelly and Edmund Guinness is one long fight between the hateful Hexad and Spider-Man Deadpool. Of course, the hateful Hexad, they are a group of c and list villains like White Rabbit, Squid, Swarm, and a couple other guys. They're fighting Spider-Man Deadpool who have been more chummy lately they're they're becoming better friends but we're also seeing a nice dynamic change between the two spider-man is actually the aggressor in this issue he's he's using more force than even deadpool would like on these guys and deadpool is interesting in this issue because not only is he is he kind of scaling back the mayhem but he's also fighting without his mask as as we know wade wilson is very touchy about his face but he doesn't have to be this issue because he's pretty and Spider-Man has a pretty cool idea for why Wade's scarring might be disappearing. And it's all purely psychological, not because the healing factor is messing with him, but because he saw himself as a bad person. Now, now that he's hanging out with Spider-Man, he's doing better, he's, he's actively trying to be a hero, we might be seeing that, that the clear up, if you will. Which is really interesting, but it does lead some, to some problems with Sheikla, who finds Wade hideous. Now, I already covered it in my Deadpool 18 review, there's gonna be a link somewhere here, that he, that him and Sheikla are already on the on the rocks, and I don't know how much um, Spider-Man Deadpool ties directly into the main Deadpool book, but this can't be helping. But anyway, back to the fight at hand. The hateful Hexad are fighting Spider-Man Deadpool, and they're getting their butts kicked. Every time Swarm uh, brings himself together, he gets blown up, and Bear, Pig Bear, Ox Guy, he gets thrown out windows and Squid gets thrown into people. It's pretty embarrassing for them. But ha about halfway through the fight, we start to notice that Squid is it has been webbed up to a wall, but he's suffocating. And Spider-Man goes, no, it's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Just use a little web solvent. And the web solvent doesn't work. So he asks Deadpool for a knife. And while he's doing that, they start to notice that the other hateful Hexed members are starting to get swords through their, through their ribs, and they're starting to get hurt. And who should appear but the titular villain of the piece, Itsy Bitsy, as she starts singing a very creepy Itsy Bitsy Spider Ran Up the Water Spout song. And she only appears for a couple of panels, and she talks to her, her daddies and says that, you know, I'm here, I'm helping you out, and, you know, we'll meet again, and next time maybe, you know, we can do some other stuff. It's, it's actually really creepy the way she says it. And then the issue ends with Deadpool and Spider-Man having ice cream and, and talking about how Deadpool is starting to come a long way as a hero. And it's actually really sweet. But we all, but under the pier that they're talking on, Itsy Bitsy is there. And we have this foreboding presence. And th we see that things are about to get really bad for our new favorite dynamic duo. And man, this issue is a lot of fun. Itsy Bitsy, this is, this is really a jumping on point because it's the start of a new arc. I highly recommend you guys go check this out. Joe Kelly, his script is fantastic, and he knows how to handle both these characters so well. And Ed McGinnis, he just gets better with every issue, and he's he was already really good at issue one. You guys really need to check this out. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you this round. Please like and subscribe to our channels. Also, don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section below. We love talking to you guys. We hope to keep growing. And that's all I've got. I don't have anything else for you. You guys, you're welcome to stay around. You can look at the con, you know, see if you guys see any of these comics and stuff. It's pretty cool. <laughs> right, that's it. I'll see you guys next round.